This video is based on my presentation at the 2022 Spring Meeting of the Healthcare Packaging Consortium on April 29, 2022. Details can be found in the article Stacking Strength of Corrugated Boxes published in the Proceedings of the ESDOC Conference, Volume 20, Issue 1, March 12, 2022. Other team members of this project are Thomas Bedesta, Bob Motes, Taqua Ayas, and Jade Housewirth. Factors affecting stacking strength of corrugated boxes discussed in the presentation include ECT, wall length, box height, humidity, flute size, loading direction, overhang, stacking alignment, slip sheet, recycled materials, and corner strengthening. In the well-known McKee formula, the following factors are included, ECT, box footprint perimeter, and board thickness. The two graphs shown are ECT versus relative humidity or RH. On the left, load was applied in the strong direction or direction along the flute. On the right load was applied in the weak direction or perpendicular to the flute. The strong direction has higher ECT than the weak direction. In both graphs, ECT decreases as the relative humidity increases. Flute size affects the ECT strength. This slide shows ECT strength of B and C flutes at different relative humidity. As in the previous slide, the higher the humidity, the lower the ECT strength. The blue line is for B flute and the red for C flute. In this comparison, the C flute is weaker than the B flute, even though the B flute is thinner than the C flute, i.e., 3.2 mm and 4 mm. This will be explained in the next slide. The B flute has 47 flutes per foot, while the C flute has 39. Even though the B flute is thinner at 3.2 mm than the C flute at 4 mm, the B flute has higher ECT strength. The blue line is higher than the red line. This is because more flutes per inch length. This slide shows the longer the wall length, the higher the box compression strength. Top load means loading in the strong direction. Side load means loading in the weak direction. The 3 inch cube box has wall length of 12 inches, the 5 inch box 20 inches, and the 7 inch box 28 inches. The results on this slide are consistent with what have been discussed. The side load capacity is weaker than the top load capacity, and longer wall length or box footprint perimeter, the more load carrying capacity. The key formula mentioned earlier include the box perimeter in it. This graph represents the data shown in the previous table. As box perimeter or wall length increases, the box compression strength increases. This slide compares compression strength of boxes of the same footprint but different heights at 5, 12, and 48 inches. As the box height increases, the strength decreases. It should be noted that box height is not part of McKee formula. Thus, BCT or box strength is the same for all three heights at 258 pounds. This slide shows compression test of corrugated strips at different unsupported length. The same conclusion can be made similar to the previous slide. Longer unsupported length, which is similar to the box height, lower the compression strength. This is well known in buckling of long slender columns in engineering mechanics. This slide shows the effect of horizontal brace to box compression strength. More braces mean less unsupported length of the box, thus, box strength increases. Overhanging is common when boxes are placed on a pallet. In this experiment, boxes with different overhangs are compressed. The more overhang, the weaker the box. It was shown earlier that the longer the wall, the stronger the box. However, the distribution of load carrying capacity along the wall is not the same. The four corners of the box carry about two-thirds of the total load. This explains the rate of strength drop is faster near corners. Strain gauges were used to measure the strain distribution, which reflects the stress distribution. Slip sheets are often put between layers of boxes. They make it easier in removing one layer of boxes from the pallet. Slip sheets also help with load distribution from one layer of boxes to the lower layer. In this experiment, a masonite board is used in place of slip sheet. The board is rigid, thus load can be distributed uniformly to the lower box. This give an upper limit of stacking strength with slip sheet in between. In this study, 
The case with Masonite board gives a 278% increase in stacking strength from the one without the board. Depending of the thickness of slip sheet used, the percent increase will vary, but not more than 278% for the same two box sizes used in this study. Paper can be recycled about 5 to 7 times. For each recycling, fiber length of the paper becomes shorter, thus weaker. Thus, the corrugated boxes made from recycled paper may be weaker. In this study, five different box sizes were used. Each size has both boxes made from virgin paper and from recycled paper, represented by V or R. They were tested under standard condition or 73F and 50% RH, as well as under extreme condition or 90F and 90% RH. In both conditions, boxes made from virgin paper performed better than those made from recycled paper. It was discussed earlier that the four corners of a box carry two-thirds of the box compression strength. Thus, when box corners are strengthened, the box becomes stronger faster. In this study, a corrugated box was strengthened with diagonal braces. The stacking strength increases by 8% and 14% with single and double bracing, accordingly. This slide shows another way to strengthen box corners using L-shaped corner posts. The interior corner post yields better strength. This slide shows yet another way to strengthen box corners using triangular corner stiffener. The longer the depth of the stiffener, the higher box strength. Corner stiffener as shown is available commercially. It is used for boxes that needs to carry heavy load above it. In this experiment, a stiffener was tested at different temperature and humidity. The compression strength of this stiffener varies from about 800 pounds to almost 1800 pounds. Adding it to the four corner of a box increases the box stacking strength tremendously. Conclusions This presentation shows factors that affect box stacking strength and how to increase it with corner strengthening. Higher ECT and longer wall length give higher stacking strength. Higher humidity, taller height, and overhang weaken the box strength. Thicker wall does not mean higher stacking strength. We need to also look at flutes for linear length. Corners carry higher stacking load. Thus, corner strengthening is a good way to increase box stacking strength. Virgin material performs better than recycled material.